my name is Gabe Zona. This is the early morning of the 8th of February, 2019. Just read an interesting article that was uh, sent in the comment section by old timer Sam. Arizona facility where incapacitated woman gave birth is shutting down. Written by Samuel Chamberlain of Fox News. Took long enough, didn't it, huh? The Arizona long-term care facility where an incapacitated woman was impregnated and later gave birth will cease operations, officials with its parent company said Thursday. Hacienda Healthcare said in a statement that its board of directors had determined that it was not sustainable to continue operating the Phoenix facility, which serves infants, children, and young adults with intellectual or development disabilities who require a high level of medical care. The company said the board had voted to shut down the facility February 1st and was working with state agencies to develop a plan to move 37 patients to other centers. A skilled nursing facility will stay open. We will continue to work with these agencies in the weeks and months ahead to ensure an appropriate and safe transition moving forward. The provider said in a statement, the care of our patient remains our top priority and we will do everything in our power to ensure a smooth transition for them and their families. You see a photograph of that pervert, Nathan Sutherland. He's facing charges in connection with the incapacitated woman at Hacienda. That was published by the Merrick County Sheriff's Office. Hacienda Healthcare received international attention last month after the revelation that the 29-year-old victim, who had been at the facility since age three, gave birth to a boy on December 29. Nathan Sutherland, 36, a former licensed nurse, was charged with sexual assault after authorities determined his DNA matched a sample taken from the newborn. He has pleaded not guilty. After the news surfaced, state regulators ordered Hacienda to hire a third-party management team to oversee daily operations. However, Hacienda and its contractor, Indiana-based Benchmark Human Services, were unable to come to a long-term agreement. Quote, We encourage Hacienda to work with the state to find a path forward, the Arizona Department of Economic Security said in a statement. State agencies are exhausting all efforts to bring this to a conclusion that is beneficial to the patients, some of whom have been at the facility nearly their entire lives. On Wednesday, Arizona Governor Ducey ordered the state agencies to improve protection for people with disabilities, requiring employees at state-funded care facilities to undergo annual training in recognition and preventing abuse and neglect. Ducey has also asked State Attorney General Mark Brombich to investigate Hacienda for potential violations of the Adult Protective Services Act or Civil Rights Law. How many times have you heard me say the place needs to be shuttered? Huh? Well, looks like it's going to be shuttered. I'll attach the link. Take a look at that photograph of that dirtbag. Does he look like he's mentally retarded or what? Thanks for listening. You might want to repost this and all your social media accounts. Pass along to like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same.